back to Tech Odyssey. So today I'm here to talk about something I didn't really expect that I would be having to talk about, but I don't blame anyone. And it has to do with the topic of these leaked devices that people keep putting out there, these prototypes, these designs, these ones that are rumors, these people like to do these mock-ups and they're great for getting interest. They're great for people's curiosity because those of us out in the BlackBerry world have been waiting over three years for a new phone. So I understand the interest in going out there and looking at them, but let me just start with this one particular one that's been working its way around the internet. I've had a lot of people that have messaged me and said, hey, have you seen this link? Hey, have you seen this link? This one didn't just end up like that one guy, GSM Aholic, that's making a new BlackBerry render with this new BlackBerry Classic 2021, BlackBerry, whatever. Apparently he just really enjoys doing that. But this one in particular made it out on the mainstream media. So there was, a, there was a generation of a lot of interest out there because it made it out on the web pages, it showed up on people's Google feed, all these other places. And just so you know, that is not it. And this isn't even something that having special knowledge, I can say, you know, hey, this isn't it. You just have to pay attention to what we actually know. It's been confirmed many times and it was initially stated in August of last year that the new BlackBerry is going to have a physical keyboard, it's going to have 5G, and it's going to be running Android. When you look at this new device, there is one thing that stands out that should be a clear indicator to anybody that it is not the next upcoming BlackBerry, and that is the lack of a physical keyboard. Now, what this person who has made this render has done has made an all screen phone that looks like a slightly larger version of a classic and it's very appealing like if you look at it it has a lot of curb appeal it's very sexy it's very sleek and it looks neat like I will give the guy a lot of credit or gal whoever made it it is really nice looking and it's got like gold accents on it and very, very cool so I mean if Blackberry ever were looking for a rendering partner to try and come up with the mock design hey find this guy it looks cool but it doesn't have a physical keyboard. It has an all touchscreen keyboard and it has digital buttons for the keys that pop up on the screen. So it almost even looks like it has a physical keyboard. And I guess as part of this design, like it can either be there or it cannot be there. And it does look very interesting. It's a very sharp looking fake device, but at the end of the day, it is not real. This is not what the Onboard Mobility BlackBerry looks like. This is not even close to what you would expect. And I'm not saying that because I'm saying it's one design form factor or another. I'm saying there's not even a physical keyboard on it. So if you look at it and it doesn't have a physical keyboard, that's dead giveaway that this is not the upcoming BlackBerry. And I, I think that's pretty much all that needs to be said about that. But don't buy into a lot of these leaks and renders and rumors. It's very appealing. It's something that's very easy to you find the shiny object and it's like, yes, I really love the way this looks. Maybe this is the next one. And there's a lot of imagination out there because so many of us have been sitting around for so long saying, I wonder what the new phone's gonna look like. I wonder what the new phone's gonna look like. And this is what always happens. In the absence of actual information, then that gives an opportunity for these renders and these leaks and these rumors and these things to proliferate and to spread around for people to look at them and put eyes on them and give interest and attention to the people who make them. And we, Still don't have anything from Amaru Ability. We've been waiting and waiting and waiting. Hopefully at some point we'll hear and we'll see something, but up until now, what we see a lot of is a lot of these rumors. We see a lot of these leaks. We see a lot of these prototype devices that make their way around the internet rounds and then people you know, kind of like them and get interested in them. But I can tell you that this design that we've seen here that I've discussed and talked about, it is not it. And I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news. I know that a lot of people might be interested in it, but at the end of the day, this is not it. And just, you know, for your situational awareness, if you do see another one that does not have a physical keyboard on it, then you can know 1000% sure that that is not the device. So maybe that will arm you with some information. So that way, if you go out and you look at it, you can look at it and see, okay, there's no physical keyboard. Clearly, this is not it. And that's the best litmus test that I have to tell you right there. And I've seen so many of them. I've had people reach out to me and I'm like, look, it doesn't even have a physical keyboard. Armor Mobility has said it will have a physical keyboard. It is going to have a physical keyboard and the ones that don't have one, clearly not it. So use that as your standard. If you see one that doesn't have one immediately, you can know that that's not it. Hopefully we hear something from Armor Mobility soon. I don't know what their timing is. I don't know exactly when they're going to get around to saying something, but 
one day they will, and that'll be great. And then we can, you know, move forward with the information that they have there. But ultimately what we have right now is we have these leaks, these renders, these rumors, this one right here is not real. So don't pay attention to it. Anyway, that's all I got in this video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section. I'll get back with you. If you enjoy the video, please hit the like and the subscribe button and the little notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out. And as always, thanks for being here. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you guys next time.